did you see or hear about Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's father, coming out and talking about his breast cancer? No, no, I didn't. So he just did and talked about being diagnosed a couple months ago. He tested positively for the BRCA2 gene, which I, I guess that you did too, right? And had a mutation. I, being a um, hypochondriac, <laughs> I was on the, uh, working in Costa Rica <clears throat> in the shower. That's strange. When we finished a week later and I come back to Los Angeles and uh, I went to my doctor and he said, ah, oh, Richard, what now? Yeah. <laughs> I said, he said, ah, it's probably nothing, but while you're here, let me stick the needle in there and take a biopsy. Maybe four or five days later, he calls me up and says, Richard, I need you to come in, we need to talk. And I went in, and uh, he's telling me that um, you have cancer. And I hear this, and he says, not, uh, you have breast cancer. And wait, how could that be? I'm a male, I, I can't, uh, breast cancer? And this is 1993, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I thought he was questioning my manhood or something, you know, well, how could I possibly yeah. have breast cancer? Was there shame over it? I don't know if it was shame. Um, embarrassment? Embarrassment. Um, come on, how, 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 how could I have breast cancer? How were you treated? What was the treatment like? Was there surgery? Was there... No, oh, yeah. Concave, my chest, the, right, the, the left side, and there's no feeling under the arm. And they, Still, no feeling under the arm? As we speak. So no, that's a, you had a mastectomy here. They took breast tissue out. Right, right. Wow. And... Uh, I'm not a real beach person to begin with, <laughs> yeah. but uh, taking off my top is is an issue. I still look in the mirror as I pass the mirror in the morning, going out of the shower. Have you met others who've had the radical mastectomy oh, surgery? Yeah. Oh yeah, at least. 10 to 15 men coming out of the closet about my breast cancer episode. <laughs> yeah. That was an eye opener for me because <clears throat> I really got to experience the fact that men are so cavalier about their, their uh, health issues and want to sweep it under the rug and whatnot. And oh, I'm. <laughs> yeah. So I came out about it, and uh, the response was incredible. Case in point, I was going to work up in Vancouver. The flight attendant, as I'm boarding, she says, oh, Mr. Roundtree, you saved my husband's life. When I, uh, I meet my fellow warriors, yeah. no matter where I go, around the country, around the world, I mean, people come up to me and say, I'm a breast cancer survivor. And there's a there's a there's a automatic camaraderie, fellow warrior. Yeah. We're here. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.